Good morning, everybody, and welcome to lesson two. Um, this term, we're going to talk about all of the, the friends and disciples of Jesus. We're going to start today with a man called John the Baptist, who is actually Jesus' cousin. Um, they grew up together. They're actually very close to the same age. They're only a couple of months apart. Uh, they were very close. So we're going to talk about John the Baptist and a little bit about baptism and what that actually means. Some of you have been baptized. I was there for at least one of them. Um, and I think you're all pretty awesome. Those of you who haven't been baptized, it's quite simple. All you gotta do is go and talk to Martha. Uh, we're going to do like a mini baptism today. It's not a real baptism, but it's a, a little bit of what you could expect. So, let's meet John the Baptist. So today we're reading from the Bible, the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, 11, and 13 to 17. I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to sort of explain it. So there's this guy named John. John the Baptist. He baptizes all of these people, and um, he, he says that he baptizes in water. For repentance but somebody will come after him who will baptize with the Holy Spirit and we all know who he means and then one day Jesus comes and Jesus says cousin will you baptize me in the water and he says okay so they go through the ritual and they baptize Jesus and when Jesus comes up out of the water the Holy Spirit comes from the sky in the form of a dove and sort of comes and lights him up in this beautiful ray of sunshine and God speaks from the clouds saying this this is my son loving God we ask you to bless these waters that will be used as the children of the Sunday schools of both Central United and St. John Stevensville Remember the baptism of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. These waters will be used to both bless and be blessing. We ask that the children and those who gather to help them in their remembrance, remember that they too are called to be both blessing and blessed. Lord, we know that you can do this for us because in you, we can do all things. We offer this prayer with and through that same Jesus Christ, who is both our Lord and our brother. Amen. So generally, when the minister baptizes somebody at church, um, whether it be Reverend Cheryl or Reverend Martha, they they have a ritual. I don't know the ritual because I'm not a minister and I haven't trained for that, but we're going to do a little miniature thing and you'll see in your kit you've got this little bucket of water. Nice blue water because there's funny blue beads in there um, that Reverend Bill blessed for us. So if you open it up very carefully because it can be messy and just dip your finger in it. Get it nice and wet. What happens is when you're baptized by the minister, they will dip their hands in holy water and they will make a little cross on your forehead. And they will say, you have been blessed by the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So as each of you make your little crosses on your forehead with your blessed water, Remember that God and Jesus and that holy dove, they love you and they're looking out for you. So, 
today you'll find that there's not a whole lot in your kit. There's a pink piece of paper and there's a white piece of paper with a dove on it. Now the dove sort of got folded because it had to fit in your kit bag, but it's supposed to be flat. So you just sort of spread it out. Now what else you're going to need is something to color with, some colored pencils, some, I don't know where I put mine, I'll go find it in a second, and some scissors, and some glue. Now we're gonna start with a complicated piece. We're going to need our scissors, and we're going to cut out the dove, but not all of the dove. You're gonna cut along this line, here, and here, and here, and that's it. And then you're gonna cut along this line, and here, and here, and that's it. Do not cut here, and do not cut here. So, take my scissors, like that. And remember, if you need help from your parents, do not hesitate to ask. Once you've cut out both sides, but not the bottom and not the top, we are going to fold along the top and bottom. So, fold the top sort of backwards, right along the line and fold the bottom forwards. Eventually it's going to be 3D. I know it looks messy right now. Also, these dotted lines here, if you can see them, dotted lines on both sides of the dove, fold on those lines as well. Fold them forward. Now we take the pink piece. We want to unfold it, but make sure you know exactly where that folded line is. That, we're going to take the paper you just did, and we're going to glue it right in along that crease. Only put glue on the outsides, on both halves, but don't put any on the dove. So now when it's all glued together, when you open it up, you have a 3D dove. On the inside of my card, I'm going to say... Which says, may the Holy Spirit always be with you. And then I'm going to make a little river at the bottom because, well, he was baptized in the water. Happy baptism, folks. Good job, everybody. 
Every one of you has now created a 3D Dove card that you can write and give to whoever you'd like. Um, remember, I love seeing pictures of your, your crafts when you're finished, so let me know what your 3D Dove looks like. Before we leave today, we're going to do our prayer from our insert, so everybody sort of settle in, and let's pray together. Dear God, Baptism is when you promise to protect us, and we promise to believe in you. Thank you for making the moment special for us. Amen. Amen. I will see you guys all next week. Bye.